it's the king king j back with another video today i'm not alone i've got king ray jr yo what's going on man uh you know chilling i'm here to talk about some oscar related stuff so it should be fun that's what i like to hear that's what i like to hear from my perspective people been saying that she's low tier obviously i've seen you've been winning tournaments i mean yeah i mean a lot of people see me win and now they think that she's a uh, mid or high tier which kind of sucks for me because uh yeah she didn't too, she didn't do too well last patch either because like her only buffs were to, not even buffs like her only changes were like to gusto related stuff to like have that marker show mm. when gusto's active so it's like that really doesn't even help me so she basically didn't get any changes at all yeah i think the main changes are going to probably be like around evo japan if anything but yeah we, we, we still got some hope but yeah, so I wanted to talk about this character. So what do you think about, you know, Asuka in this game so far? Um, I think she's fun. She definitely fits my play style. Like, I've played her for 13 years now since the age of five competing with her in tournament. And it's kind of funny because I don't know the lore of why I picked her when I was five. I just ended up picking her and I've stuck with her until, you know, now. But it's been really good like winning with her considering you know how i feel about her as a character feeling like you know that she's not especially up to par with like any of the characters that we know that are really good like right now like you know king reyna dealing with characters like jack like a lot of the heavy oppression characters and then you know the new counter hit throw system she doesn't even have a command one so she can't even really utilize it that much but i mean overall she fits my play style so that i kind of get success off that more than anything else all right cool man so first off like tell me what are her like key moves that you use with the character um so far definitely one one it's only negative seven on block but if you you know counter hit the one the second one is also guaranteed so it's pretty good to check with oh sorry i didn't even mean to do that oh sorry so you know what my, i forgot i've not got my buttons i've set your ones it's your buttons yeah, yeah yeah so all right let me do it uh there we go there we go change all right so yeah show me okay one more time uh yep there you plus go plus four okay so what would you do uh, what, would, what would you do with the plus four then um so like it's harder to step now on plus frames but even though they buff step so like down forward four is a good check it's a 12 frame mid save uh i'm thinking yeah it's only like Minus, it's not even that minus I'm blocking on hit you get mega pushback and like if you're on the wall right here if you block it it's still mega pushback regardless and I'm like minus nine so a lot of people try to press here but like it's kind of a little frame trap depending on if they want to press or not but with plus frames it's dangerous because like I pretty much get a free mid check because you can't step it on plus four so it's just a free mid check at that point and then down forward one as well if people are trying to mash I get a free counter hit into the wall or with this as well Whoa. So, yeah, both of these counter hit confirmed now, which is really nice. I don't remember that being a thing at 7. Mm, okay. So, like, what about her low moves? What, would, what are the go-to moves that are, she uses that are low? That's hard. So, her down... So, her biggest, I think, weakness in this game is her low game. She, her low game is not strong because she doesn't really have a single tracking low except for down 4, which got severely nerfed, only being... You know minus four on hit and then it's minus 15 on block which is really bad for her so this was a severe nerf in its own way her down back three has never tracked in tekken and it's still minus 12 but it's her fastest low it's a 20 frame low obviously down plus two you know every oscar's favorite move they buff the range on it so like you see like if i was right here in tekken 7 it would not hit you from right here yeah and then yeah down back four as well i don't think down back four is really you know, it, it's very slow, like slower than down plus two and down back three by two frames, but like definitely more seeable. But I mean, it has more tracking than down back three. So in most situations, it's good to use. I think depending on someone's wake up more than just sitting in neutral, because, you know, it's more reactable in neutral. But I think, yeah, definitely better to use if somebody's trying to wake up in a certain area. Okay. And then like... Obviously, she has like her. She's known infamously to be like miss, miss minus, minus like nine on, on some of her moves. So like, does she still have this? Yeah, minus nine. Yeah. And then, the thing is, it doesn't wall bounce anymore. So the only thing you get out of it now is a forward two into gusto. 
Ah, okay. And then like, what's the other one? This one, minus nine again. Yep. Oh. Counter hit. It doesn't even counter hit launch anymore. Ooh. So you just get a run up into this for Gusto or uh, depending on like the range too. Sometimes you run up and just do this for Oki, but you know, <laughs> it depends on the range. I think the range is more dependent. Is like you have to have gusto to get the splat, obviously. So basically, yeah. If I were to do this, I get gusto already. So I can just do this. And then I run up, and nothing here is guaranteed. But mm. you're forced into basically what I'd like to call a wake up 50/50. So like, if you roll, you get hit by this. If you don't roll, you can also get hit by this. Oh. Um, a lot of lows won't hit here, but the lows aren't really that dangerous. But yeah, it's a nice little, you know, 50/50 with the wake up. Okay, so then like at the wall, what is Asuka's go to? Cause I know like at the wall she's pretty dangerous. Uh, yeah, I think at the one now, compared to seven, it's not that bad because you know she doesn't really have a good single tracking poke. Like they took away down back one's tracking, which is really bad, and it's minus ten now. So yeah, you can't really do much here. Like it tracks left, and like that's her. That's not even her weak side. Her weak side is her right. But like, so the chances of people stepping left versus her, like, it, yeah. And it's minus 10 now too, so it's like, it's just not, it's not a really good move to check with now. Mm. Even though like, it tracks like somewhat. Yeah, fair enough. And then like, um, what's, what other stuff is there? Cause obviously I know Asuka's are known for like back three, you know, stuff like that. Do you stuff like that or not really? Minus nine back, minus 19 back three. Dang Love it. to see it. Um, definitely good to use in certain situations. I think I only try to use it versus characters that I know either can't punish it or don't get the best punish versus it. Um, but, you know, any character that can launch it, I always do try to place it when I can if I think they're going to go for something. But even then, it still is a dangerous move to use. Like, it's a Hail Mary move, which I like because, you know, you're pretty much risking it all versus characters you know can kill you for it when you're using it. But I guess it just depends on where you're placing it, because that's ultimately what will save you in certain matchups that, you know, you know you can get pretty much killed for it. Because then you even got some characters like King that could just get a free heat engager for blocking one, which is bad when they have like a lot of chip. Because, you know, you doing this, you're basically just giving them free chip damage or free chip health back. Uh, so like, with a Naniwa Gusto, do you use that at all? Like, do you use it oh, in your yeah, gameplay? Course. Yeah, of course. You have to. Um, it's pretty much, you're playing with Claudio at this point, which is kind of awesome. So I'd like to go over this while I can. She has, I think, if we're counting going into Heat, five ways of going into Gusto. She can do forward two and hit one. Yeah. So that gives her Gusto right there. She can do forward four, two, one plus two. You don't tap anything. If it hits, you just get Gusto. Um, other one. Uh, like I said, if she just goes in a heat, you can hit it or cancel it. She has gusto, and even after heat is over, she still has gusto in her hand. Wow. Um, she has back four two three. That also gets her gusto, but you got to tap one. Okay. Which back four three, uh, back four two three got significantly nerfed, so I can no longer delay that three. Oh. I can't even delay it by a frame. I can't delay the move at all. So if I to... want this move, I have to commit to the whole thing. Damn. I wonder why they did that. So, yeah, it uh, kind of sucks. But, uh, I mean, it's not the worst thing that could have happened to her, you know? Mm. And then, um, okay, so th there's a, those are the few moves that you used to go into Naniwa Gusto. And you, but obviously, Nani, if with that, she has two or three moves from Naniwa Gusto. She has the running one, 442, and what else? Uh, she had the running one plus two, this... So, Whoa. you see how much damage it does normally, yeah. yeah. So, not that bad. It's plus four on block, but, like, I think the main issue right now is, like, if it's get blocked, like, you see the range. Like, this is pretty much just peak range for down plus two. Mm. Like, if you just tap back back, you're kind of not eating a 50 here, which is my only really big, big problem with the move, because, like, I don't really get a 50-50 off of it, which mm. is, like, the main thing. Uh, even in heat. It goes from plus four to plus six, but like, you know, it closes the distance, which is better at the expense of wasting, you know, a little bit of the heat bar for. Mm, so it's only in uh, heat and Naniwa Gusto when it's like this. Yeah, so it's basically like, yeah, Claudio Starburst. Same Damn. concept. Oh, if Claudio so. had Starburst in Tekken 7, you know, 
he would just get the move once and then he'd have to go back into Starburst. Unlike here, if he's in heat, he just gets all the same moves for, you know, free if he has heat. Yeah, okay, okay. So I understand that analogy. So, all right, cool. So, is that the only move you use in Nano Augusto? Because like I said, she's got three from what I know. Nah, she's got, yeah, she's got the forward forward on plus two as well. It's minus six on block normally. Um, it is a counter hit launcher on, oh, whoops. <laughs> Yeah, you're good, you're good. yeah, it is. It is a counter hit launcher on normal hit, which is kind of nice. So, yeah, I mean, I will take that. Uh, the tracking on it is pretty bad, but like on normal hit and heat, it launches. So like, it's not that bad to check with. It has more tracking in heat and gusto than it does normally. And then if it hits on normal hit for no gusto or no heat, then it wall splash, which is kind of nice. Yeah. But like again. Plus frames are like the big thing. I'm plus two and you're that far away from me. And then without it, I'm minus six and I'm that close to you. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Um, and then I think the last one, rarely ever used. Um, like I said, it depends on situational related stuff, but uh, I'm plus two. Plus eight on block, but again, distance. And then, yeah, this would be an Oki situation, like on wake up. Or I could just hit you with it and get a four, three plus four for free. Uh, oh, it would just look like. And if I have gusto, then I just pretty much get it back, which is kind of nice. Hmm. But yeah, if I'm in heat, because I can use it more than once, I can just put you in another wake up situation if you try to roll. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Fair enough then. So like, with Asuka, has a has a has a punishment improved? Like, what's a punishment from 10 to 15? Uh, it's pretty much still the same at this point. Uh, they made 1-2 a true combo, so if people want to use 2-1 for more plus frames than 1-3, then they can. Because, you know, 1-3 is neutral on block and does 15, while 1-2 does um, 13. But it's 2 damage less, but you get, like, plus 6 for it, so it's not bad. It's not a bad trade at all. Mm. So, I honestly want to actually start using this more. 2-3 uh, is still her good old 12 frames. Still wall splash, even though it doesn't look like it. Oh. Which, you know, thank God. If they would have taken away the wall flat, that would have just been the end. <laughs> um, but it is really good on normal hit as well for punishment. Uh, it's still minus 17, but I'm plus 14 on hit. And you're pretty much, you know, forced in the crouch, which is, like, really good on plus frames. Um, I remember moves like Eddie's... Uh, since Eddie's going to be back on the game, I'll say Eddie. Eddie's Relax 4. It was minus 12 in Tekken 7, but I couldn't hit it with 2-3 because it was a high and he was basically forced in, uh, forced in crouch. Yeah. So I had a down forward for him, which he's lucky to have because it's a fast, you know, 12 frame mid. And it still punished his relaxed four, so this is another good, you know, situational 12 frame for her. Um, she has for 13 down forward one, but it pretty much serves no purpose because, like, you know, 2-3. So yeah, there's no point in doing down forward one for 13 frames, just you should just do 2-3. Uh, 14 frame is an odd one. So, she has, uh, basically, I think, I think four now. Four 14 frame options with the addition of down back four, uh, one four. Okay. So, it's interesting because down back one two is a new heat engager now that she has. Okay. So, with this move, it does more damage, but if you block it, I'm actually minus 15. Okay. Oh so, yeah, it's like I said, damage, but like it doesn't even wasp flat, and I can't hit confirm it. I have to actually go for it. Whereas this move, I can hit confirm it if I need to. Ah. Okay. So um, her biggest damage in 14 frame is definitely up forward two, which they also made it to where you can do up back two now, holding back, which makes the punishment for 14 a lot easier. Okay. But again, it's a high, so situational related stuff won't be able to work the highs so that's where this move would come in and then if you're looking for like plus frames and standing then you also have three one so you're plus eight okay and then yeah not everyone has one but oh not bad <laughs> her, her down forward two classic oh. 15 frame nice but yeah harder combos on <laughs> Let's go. We're, we're, we're on. We're, we, I know there's a bit of latency on your end, so it's all good. It's all good. So, what's yeah. what's the wild standing punishment for her? Um, yeah. So, wall standing, I don't think it's changed much except for wall standing four being 11, you know, now. So, that helps a lot of characters. Um, 
Her 12 and 11 frame are still going to be wall standing 4. Her 13 frame is 2 wall standing 2 1. But now she has the ability of doing. You remember her old grab in second 7, her down back 1 plus 2? Yeah. It's not down back 1 plus 2 anymore. That input is her low Sabaki now. So instead of doing that, they made the input 4 1 plus 3 and 4 2 plus 4. Ah, okay. So she doesn't have a way of actually doing a forward input grab. And the range on it is like really bad. Like if you were to just like. I'd say like maybe right here it won't reach. Ah. Uh, so yeah, okay. the range. So she has no way to really like do a forward input into a normal grab, which sucks because like that's kind of how you close distance and grabs track too. So that's kind of bad for her. But with this one, if you do wall standing two one plus two, she does the grab. Ah. Uh, but if you block the grab, then it pushes back. Oh. So yeah, she doesn't have a mix up out of it. I just haven't had people that are ducking that grab. <laughs> but yeah, crazy. she has the mix-up of four, which, you know, I like it because she has the heat engager mid as well. They're both 19 frames, so you're pretty much forced into a pure 50-50 there. Which, if she oh, does... Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> if she does get the uh, grab into the two off yeah. with heat, and then if I do like a heat dash afterwards, she does get a combo after it as well, uh... which is really cool. But then, you know, she has the, the cheeky low. She gets free Gusto forward two after it, which isn't bad. And again, it's a pure 50-50, so what are you going to do? I guess. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, all right, cool. So then, so what are the other ones from, uh, what other wild standing stuff does she have? Because I know she has, oh, oh, that's the one I was looking for. Like one of the best 14 frames in the game, honestly, because with the addition of this move, she just gets so much damage off anything that's 14 or above. I, at this point, I really don't even think she needs a 16 or 17 frame launcher with while standing 1-4 being in the game. You're just receiving that much damage just for so little, which is kind of nice. And she gets Gusto on top of it. Um, But then, of course, you know, her tried and true 18 frame, you know, while standing 3 is always going to be there. You know, uh, she doesn't have a delayed hop kick. Like, that's what this is. So, like, you wow. can't even do anything legitimate. So, walk standing three is going to be the only answer. And it does tail flip now, which is weird. So, like, yeah. I don't like that it tail flips now. Like, it's kind of a little strange because, like, I can punish slide and stuff with it, which is weird. But, like, and then it even, like, flips on the ground as well. Like, I think that's the weirdest thing. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Man, okay, so like moving on from the frames, so she has a uh, command frozen. You was we was talking about something before we started yeah. the video. So tell us more about like you know your button binding for this character. <laughs> so yeah, with that, um, I've only ever used two binds uh, since seven, and it originally came to me when they uh, changed the animation for Sabaki originally in seven, where they made the punch one you know actually have a stunning animation on hit and then they included the leg sabaki as well and i was telling myself i was like all right i know the input for these are or or are you know because it used to be just two plus three for the punch sabaki not forward yeah because in this game regular two plus three is just the heat burst and heat smash so back then it was just two plus three and back two plus three and i told myself i have three options i have down four two plus three which is her you know her command two throw yeah um, her leg Sabaki was always down back, yeah, it was always back 2 plus 3. But then the punch one changed in this game, and now you have to add a forward input. But back in 7, it used to just be neutral 2 plus 3. Okay. So I said I was just going to bind one button to 2 plus 3. So I have L1 set to 2 plus 3, and I'm able to just do everything with just tapping L1, including Heat Burst and Heat Smash. So you have 2 plus 3, so like, that's kind of crazy. Cause I'm, I'm going to even try right now. So you have... 2 plus 3 as L1, right? That's your that's yeah. your go-to. So if I do this now, I can have everything here. Pretty so, much, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> that's crazy. I think the fun part is if you just tap it, then you just get Heat Burst and Heat Smash for free. Ah. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't even need to, yeah, so I don't need to stress my fingers out with having to worry about pressing two buttons at the same time, because, like, you know, anyone that's on any controller, two plus three is, like, you know, always going to be diagonal from each other, which really does suck with button inputs. Yeah. So just having that being able to be set to one button 
and it covers like five different options like it's just like it's so much easier to play with that is crazy like just even just knowing that I, oh i could do the throw like this i could do it yep. i could do this the back key what and i could do heat yeah that's crazy but the thing is it's what's crazy is that i have my button set to heat on r2 but it doesn't work that same way because it just only acts as a heat but button it doesn't act as two plus three do you get what i'm saying so like yeah so because so what was really cool when i found out was the actual input of the heat in this game was going to be two plus three like regardless like a raw two plus three is what the heat input is in general. yeah so like any raw heat burst or heat smash then like actual input of the move is two plus three so when i found that out i was like you know what if i'm going from tekken 7 with my already binded l1 for my sabakis and my throw and whatnot I'm literally just gonna add two more buttons to the arsenal if I keep L1 set to two plus three, which that's, that's how it worked out, luckily. I I'm gonna I'm gonna change my heat button to two plus three now. Now that we've yeah. spoken about this, it makes so much sense because, like, as you can see, like I think a lot, yeah, because a lot of people make that mistake too, because they see that one button can literally just be set for heat in general, but they forget that two plus three is a regular button input. So if they just set two plus three to a regular button, it just covers whatever they're trying to do. That's crazy. All right, cool, man. Well, moving on from that, what do you think about, like, where do you think Asuka place in the, you know, everyone's going to do a tier list soon? Is she yeah. bottom tier, mid tier, or upper tier? I definitely think she's, like, a low high tier, low mid tier. Low mid tier. Or, or high Or high low tier, you know, low mid. I don't really see her... The testing with a lot of the better characters that we see right now, like, you know, Dragonov, Reyna, King, Lily, a bunch of those characters. Um, her tracking in this game is a really big weakness. Her not having a good low is a pretty big weakness. Uh, not having a command one throw, she doesn't have a full throw game. Mm. But, uh, you know, she is annoying, which, you know, I, <laughs> I completely understand that. But, like, you know, my thing with her is this. Like, just because she's annoying as a character doesn't really mean that she's good like and it's very hard to win with her especially in tournament because you know you're not fighting against like nobody's you're fighting against people that know these characters and their weaknesses so it's like for the character that has so many weaknesses in the game it's kind of hard to compensate just by trying to play around those weaknesses like you literally have to play you have to you have to find a way in general to play with the weaknesses at hand which is kind of what i found a way to do with her play style wise because I feel like I've always had a very aggressive and outgoing playstyle with Asuka, even though she's, like, more meant to be a defensive-based character, like, really good keep out, you know, good ways to, like, counter hit, very counter hit heavy. But, uh, you know, just being able to go in, like, full aggression and an aggressive-based game, I feel like has really just taken my game with her to the next level, just mm -hmm. because of the fact that it's nice to be, it's nice being able to know that I could put somebody in a situation where they're forced to guess, and not being, like, um, like me not wondering if they're going to like panic option out of it because they literally can't panic option out of it. Okay. So like, would you say that because she's a defensive character, it's kind of her in an aggressive game. They didn't really give her that aggressive tool set. Um, yeah, she's got her like her. So the way I see it right now with Tekken is I've always played her aggressive even in C7 when she was defensive based. Yeah. But I've always used her defensive tools as an offense, you know? Like, the Sabakis are, like, the best example of that. Like, you, I can Sabaki, like, mid-string moves, like, during strings that are safe on block. So, um, be the best example of that. So, like, if I'm fighting Asuka and you do 1-1, one, one, right? Yeah. So, yeah, if you do 1-1. One, one. So, like, like I said, 1-1 one, one is a key move. It's minus 7 on block, and then you can also counter hit me out of it. Because, you know, 1-1 one, one counter confirms now. Now, if you do it... Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, like, in general... Oh. You want me to do it? Yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. So, I'm guessing it jails now. Okay, so that doesn't work anymore. So, in 7, I used to actually be able to Sabaki that. So, I'm guessing that it has jailing properties now. One more time. Uh, then again, like, yeah, if I can make a jab launch, then if anything. 
So yeah, I don't think I could spot you the 1-1 anymore, but if you just keep throwing out jabs, then, you know, I'm basically turning a safe move into a move that can be launched. I think that's that's the main point. Oh, fair enough, And man. that goes with anything. I'm like, yeah. I think the main problem is, like, obviously, like, people do think the Sabaki damage is broken, and I do get it. Like, getting Half-Life off of Sabaki, I mean, that's cool. But <laughs> compare that to all the other characters in the game right now that are doing just as much damage with moves that aren't even what I considered hard, like, hard reads or, like, anything that you got to pay attention to to be able to land. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, like, the Sabakis are not easy. They definitely do take skill to do, and you have to be aware of where you can sabaki someone unlike you hitting a down forward two combo on somebody and then getting half life for it mm -hmm. no, that makes sense it makes sense ah right, wicked man well king ray jr thank you very much for your time man i know we've got different time zones going on right now uh it's good to you know we can finally match the time uh that is the end of us showing you what asuka's like if for the people that don't know where to find you can you please let them know your social media please yeah, um, my YouTube is just uh, King Red Junior Gaming. My Twitter is my same name, King Red Junior, but with an underscore at the end of it. And yeah, that's about it. All right, excellent, man. Make sure you look, go and support him and go and check him out. It's been King J. Thank you very much, King Red Junior, for your time. Really appreciate it. All right, later, guys. Thanks. Thank you. And yeah, we'll be on to the next video, man. Take it easy, everyone. Peace.